Hi darlings, how are you? This is going to be for my Aries and this is going to be a weekly check-in. That's what we're going to call it from now on. And it's going to be for the 11th through the 17th of June. I will be using for the first time my Radiant Rider Weight Tarot deck. I will be using to clarify my learning tarot cards and then I will pull you a message or pull you a card from my message from the guides transformation deck. Okay, so let's see what messages we have for you, Aries. So Aries, this is for you, the hanged man. You feeling stuck about something? The four of swords, maybe you've been working too hard and you need to take a rest. The knight of swords, something coming, some kind of message. It's coming in fast. The nine of cups, your wishes come true. The six of swords. Whatever it was, it's going to take you to calmer waters. The Emperor. Now, this could be a, a Aries energy in your environment. This person is masculine. They're like a father figure. It's not romantic. They are stable. They're someone you can turn to in a time of need. And they're there for you. Okay? And this person is older than you are. Um, so that's the Emperor. Oh, that could be you too, Aries. Oh my goodness, I'm doing Aries. Slip my mind. And the chariot. Overcoming obstacles in your life. Things coming fast. From your inner strength. And the sun. Happiness. Okay. So let's see. <clears throat> so on top of the hangman we have the Ten of Pentacles, which is like unexpected financial, a lump sum of money. It's got you at a standstill. You don't know what to do. It's giving you a lot of fear and anxiety. Why is that? You came into some money. This is about family and home. You have accumulated some some stuff. You got support. And this might be old money, not necessarily new money. But whichever way it is, it's coming. But it has you anxious. And why? That's the Nine of Swords. The Ten of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. Fear and anxiety. Negative thoughts. Why? Is it because you're overworked? Is it because everybody's coming now suddenly? It's overwhelming. Are you going to take a break? Hmm, excuse me. You're going to take a break. And on top of the four swords, which you do need to rest, okay? For some reason, you need to take a rest. You might end up with a lot of stress if you don't. Um, 
got the nine of um, cups on top of that. And I got the Knight of Swords. And you got the Knight of Swords over here. You're in for some big change, changes. And your wishes. If they haven't already come true, they're coming true. Okay? Feel them. No, it has happened already. So this is the Nine of Cups and the Knight of Swords. Changes are coming. Be direct. Be honest. Okay? Communicate with honesty. change has to do with the money i got the ace of pentacles this has brought you a whole new financial new beginning but then you got the eight of swords here you tied up inside because of this money what's going on what's going on darlings this may you might be thinking of a new business maybe it had to do with a business but this is some money you came into and it has you tied up for some reason. It's bringing changes. Maybe you weren't expecting the changes. The changes don't look bad, but we can go on and see. So the Ace of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. So we got the Nine of Cups here. So the wishes come true again. take a vacation get away for a little while your wishes come true and on top of that top of the nine of cups you have the sun and you have the ten of cups this is about positivity happiness freedom all that you are tied up in your head you're gonna start relaxing soon you're gonna realize that there's no need to be trapped up in here you know don't do that to yourself, okay? It is a trick. It's a trick so you can stay in that dark feeling. Bring yourself out of it, okay? Practice. Just keep practicing and practicing, practicing, and you can bring yourself out. I'm telling you. So you can get happy. Your wishes can come true and you can achieve the happiness and happy family you desire. I got the sun and I got the ten of cups here on top of the nine of um, cups and things in your environment are going to start getting calmer or become level got the six of swords here this is like moving to calmer water so i say things are going to start to quiet down okay <coughs> excuse me on top of the six of swords i got the hermit you need to honor, honor your spiritual self. You need to go within and do some soul searching and healing. Okay. Forgive yourself for things you've done and forgive others. Don't carry that baggage around. It's not worth it. Release the fear. Let it go. And you are seeking some kind of truth. Now, this could also be an energy in your environment. This could be a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. Or this could be how you're thinking right now. Maybe you're very logical. And you're in a, you're in a place of authority. Possible because of the money. But start using your head over your heart, okay? So you got the hermit. And you need to meditate a little bit, spend some quiet time. And you got the King of Swords. Like I said, this could be an energy. A Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. Yeah, Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. And then you got the Emperor here. Now the Emperor could be you, or could be someone within your environment. But I have a feeling this is you. Because if I'm not mistaken, you know, I never even looked it up. I think the Emperor means Aries. It's for Aries, okay? So on top of the Emperor, you, we got the Knight of Pentacles, and we got the Eight of Pentacles. So you need some patience. You have a routine down, okay? You're going to have a, <laughs> unexpected sources of income coming in. You're working very hard towards it. It might be in place of a new job or something or some business. 
but you have a pretty good reputation. Just be patient. It's coming if it hasn't already arrived. You got the Knight of Pentacles and you got the Eight of Pentacles above the Emperor. Then we got the Chariot. Overcoming obstacles. Something coming in fast. A little rocky. But that's okay. It's still movement. Movement is good. Movement means you're moving forward. Right? Because we're not going back. On top of the chariot comes the empress. Now, this can signify pregnancy. Um, the card itself says connecting to the earth reminds me that abundance is unlimited. You're probably finding out you are limitless. You have, you have a whole lot of potential. Ah. So, I got the empress and I got the hierophant. You choose what traditions to embrace. And this could also be a relationship. Okay, this could be a marriage or a relationship. It might be a little rocky, but it's still moving forward. There is abundance here and there's fertility and sensuality and a whole harmony. But it's a little rocky. And I mean, that's life. Huh? That's life. The thing about it is you don't walk away just because it's rocky. You sit down and you try to work it out if you can. Now, of course, if there's physical violence, I say get the heck on out. But there's the Empress and the Hierophant. And the Strength card. You found your strength. You found your happiness. Found your inner strength. On top of that, you have the High Priestess <clears throat> and the Star card. <laughs> you need to start trusting yourself. Look within. Those feelings you've been getting, you need to start trusting them. Lead your own self. Okay? Follow what you feel. Use your intuition. I got the High Priestess and I got the Star card. The Star card says, The universe shows me that I can have faith in my dreams. Don't you give up. You keep the faith. You keep the hope and everything. You found your inner strength. You can keep going. Start using that intuition. And do not give up the hope. Don't give up the faith, okay? And let's see the Sun card here. Top of the sun card, we got the wheel of fortune and we got the strength card. So the wheel of fortune, you got a lot of good luck on your side. This is about karma. Maybe you gave out really good, something really good. And now you're receiving. I do see you found your inner strength. The card says strength begins with the choice to be kind to myself. So that's just a reminder to be kind to yourself. But you have found your inner strength. The wheel of fortune and the inner strength above the sun. I say everything in your environment will work out the way you expect it to. So, where are those cards? Oh, here they are. Right in front of my eyes. So now I'm going to pull you a card from my messages. <clears throat> messages from the guides transformation deck. And I'm going to read the card to you. So the card is have an attitude of gratitude. Have an attitude of gratitude. Although it may not always seem so, life on earth is a gift that you have given to yourself. Every person you meet and every situation you experience is to be received positively because each one is a chance to learn. Everything is a lesson and regardless of whether you choose to spend a moment with the lesson or decades, it is always for your benefit. 
So approach everything in life with a positive, gracious attitude because these experiences have been given to you for your advancement. It's often difficult to accept that the events we perceive as negative or bad are actually beneficial. But try to open up your awareness to the bigger picture of what am I learning from this experience. If this card appears in your spread, it can also mean that you have started to take the good things that have entered your life for granted. Learn to count your blessings. I love you guys. You take care of yourselves. Let's change that. Learn to count how much your abundance, what you have that you're not seeing. Okay? I love you guys. You take care of yourself and I will see you soon. Mwah. Bye.